Alabama will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Longhorns have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Throws complete, and he's hammered. Whittington picks up about five yards on that hookup. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Kane picks them up about five yards on that pass play, and that one will move the sticks. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. And he's taken down at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Gets to around the 42. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. They'll bring him down at the 44. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Second and 13. Ball on the 44. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Touchdown, Longhorns. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 27. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Here they come. And they got him. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Worthy awaiting the return.
Worthy. Fields it at the 30. Brought down at the 36. The Longhorns really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers. I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Texas is up a score. Heading for the corner. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. Give to the tailback. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Fanborn is the putter. He fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at the 34. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Play action. And he dives forward. So at the end of one, Texas leads 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. There was some movement on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Nice run, and he's brought down. McClellan gains about four yards on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Easy, easy, easy. Omaha. Omaha. 
completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Bond picks up about a yard with that completion. Under heavy pressure. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 85-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven in this one. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Diving for extra yardage. The halfback picks up a yard. This junior corner's been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 37. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. And he's tackled right away. From the 44-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They run straight, brought down quickly. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 34. He's taken down around the 26 yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Slings it. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. They're about four yards away here on second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. The Longhorns taking their first time out of the half. It's the 11th play of the drive. Goes to the end zone. 
Got a man open touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. What a collision. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He fights forward to about the 23. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. Third and long now after the sack. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. Worthy is back deep to return the punt. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down at the 46. The Longhorns offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Texas is up seven. Fires it out. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Sanders gains about four yards there. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a bullet. It's intercepted. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Scrambling around. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He got three yards there on the scramble. And a quick throw, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And it's going the other way. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 
14-7, Texas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Breaks away from one, and now he's got the corner. And he's finally brought down at the 46-yard line. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down at about the 41. Burton gains about five yards on the play. From the 41-yard line, second down. He passes it. Got a man. Watch out here. To the 10. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. That's a tough catch for the receiver on a ball coming in from that angle. But he did a really nice job of looking it into his hands and concentrating all the way. A touchdown away from a tie. Heading for the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. Touchdown, Alabama! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He fights forward to about the 19. crowds in the country and they are on their feet delayed handoff and he's not going to get back to the line a loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen you got that right they sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him
Sanborn is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 41. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at about the 45. And they make the stop at the 44. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Let's it fly. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guys covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Dives for extra yardage. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Williams gets a ball left side, makes it to the 11. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 11-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws middle to the tight end. Tackle made at the six. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. And down he goes at the six-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. He's under some heat, and he throws it away. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. He makes the PAT. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Crimson Tide in front, 21-14. 
into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. Pass complete and taken down immediately. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He's taken down at about the 49. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And he's immediately tackled. From the 27 yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 17. And this play is number eight on the drive. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 17-yard line, second down, five wide. Looks for his tight end over the middle, and he's tackled around the seven-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Touchdown, Texas! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Nice run up the middle. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30. Less than three minutes in the game. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. And he's level at the 25-yard line. Worthy, awaiting the return. Yeah. 
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. Just under two to go in the game. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second and 10, ball on the 50. Makes the catch, and look out. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. from the 32-yard line. First down. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Man left, man left. Under a minute left. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. He fires left side. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The Longhorns, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.